Happy Holidays, I'm Brooke Morris. And I'm Julia Knipp. Finals week is upon us. So to get our minds off the impending doom, let's talk about some holiday traditions. So every year, my family, we do Christmas cookies all together. We decorate them and put them in little tins, and it is a lot of fun. And for my family, we decorate every room in my house a different color. So our living room and our dining room is all red, and our sitting room is golden white. To get our crew into the holiday cheer, some of us took a trip to the amazing Longwood Gardens. Let's take a look. Since the 1800s, Longwood Gardens has been a beautiful botanical garden with a collection of exotic trees, a variety of flowers, and glistening fountains for all to see. Longwood Gardens is located in Kennett Square, Pennsylvania. It is one of the most famous conservatories and horticulture displays in the United States. We decided to take a team down the Longwood Garden to look at the seasonal display and to have a talk with the marketing and communications specialist, Abby Gall. Throughout Longwood Gardens, during a Longwood Christmas, we have over 500,000 lights, so you can see outdoors at our over 1,000 acres during a Longwood Christmas, and indoors we have over 100 decorated trees. So every year we try to incorporate a different theme to kind of change it up and make it fresh for everybody. This year it's a French-inspired theme, so you'll see remnants of old 17th century French chateaus, you'll see ornate mirrors, fanciful topiaries, as well as imaginative wreaths all throughout the display. So along with Christmas runs now through January 7th and we advise our guests to buy online before you arrive because time tickets are required. We do get pretty busy during this holiday season so be prepared before that and come out with your family and enjoy along with Christmas. And it's only about 20 minutes away so check it out this holiday season. Now let's jingle all the way to the Newman Jazz Band concert who had their Christmas concert last Thursday. On Tuesday, November 28th, Newman's very own jazz band held their fall semester concert in the theater. The band consisted of six Newman students, some alumni, and friends and faculty of Newman. The band performed some Christmas music for the holiday season along with a mix of pop, rock, and some classical jazz charts. The concert began with the Christmas song and the Angel Swing as a way of preserving the university's tradition of playing a Christmas song with the word angel in the title. The concert concluded with an encore of Sweet Caroline and won the hearts of the audience. Congratulations to the Newman Jazz Band. You guys did a fantastic job. Also, congratulations to the Newman Concert Chorale who also had a Christmas concert last Friday. Thanks for bringing good tidings and joy to Newman Stage. Now let's go to Mike for some weather. Thanks, Julia. Monsoon Mike here this week, filling in for Brooke the Blizzard Morris, uh, giving you a quick weather update. Uh, for example, this week, it's gonna be cold. It's definitely cold here right now. Uh, we're actually gonna be experiencing uh, low temperatures uh, for the first time this winter. Uh, we're going down into the 30s and 20s. Uh, and especially tomorrow, December 9th, it's going to snow. Yes, that's right, ladies and gentlemen, it is going to snow three to five inches. So make sure you run out to the supermarket, grab your non-perishable food items, your canned corns, your canned green beans. Make sure you can stash whatever you can because we're probably all going to die. But it's all right because death is inevitable. And, and Merry Christmas to everyone. And back to you guys in the studio. Thanks, Monsoon Mike. I mean, it's fine. You took my spot. But it's okay. We still adore you here in the studio. On a completely unrelated note, a few weeks ago, criminal justice alum returned to Newman to share their experiences in the field to the students. Here's how it went. I'm Kristen Acosta, and I'm a criminal justice instructor here at Newman University. The event that we hosted tonight was part of the Criminal Justice Honor Society, and our goal was to bring back recent graduates and have them talk to current students about the experiences they have with finding jobs in the field, the jobs that they found, and the challenges and experiences they're having in the field. The purpose of this event was also to have former graduates or former students, current graduates, come back and give service to current students and talking to them about uh, life experiences, uh, how this program helped them in their field, um, demonstrating the excellence which our graduates did very well talking about the excellence and the skills that they needed in the field to keep them at the top of their job and at the top of their game in the field. Well, that must have been very interesting. However, I was too busy locked in my room preparing for finals. Gosh, I am really looking forward to break. So am I, but to end the show, you'll need to wrap this one up. Let's finish up before Brooke makes another really bad Christmas pun. 
Have a holly jolly Christmas. And a happy new year.